Do you think it is good or bad that the laptop in school? I think in this age of technology, it is essential that we have laptops in the classroom. I think that it gives students more um, immediate access to information. I know in my art room, I allow students to use laptops quite readily, not in a time just for fun um, and non-constructive uses, but they're allowed to look up references. I have them look up artists. I have them write reports based on internet research as well as book, but it's sort of a day and time where most things are researched on the internet, and I think it's very valuable to have a laptop in a classroom. I think it's good to have them in there. I think it's, tr if it's kind of annoying um, until students learn how to self-discipline themselves to use it appropriately. Um, in this age, there's so much technology, whether it's texting, whether it's phones, whether it's laptops, at some point you have to um, train yourself to have self-discipline on when and where to use it. That's really important to learn. Um, by the time you have a job, most, most jobs will have technology in place. And if you're using it for things you're not supposed to be using it for, then you will have a problem. So if you start learning to use it in a way that's beneficial, in the way it's supposed to be used, and uh, develop some self-discipline, then I do think it's a good thing. Uh, it's a problem of getting there that's kind of hard. But um, if we kind of enforce that a little bit, I think we need to. It's important for everybody, teachers included, because I see staff members in staff meetings using their technology too when they should be listening. People need to start respecting each other and people more. And um, when they start doing that, then technology, I think, will come into balance with the way it should be used. I think it's good because it saves paper and it gives students more responsibility for their work and it gives teachers more opportunities for a variety of types of lessons and um, it gives students a little bit more freedom when researching so we don't have to go to the library to research we can do it right in the classroom if you need to look up something really quickly I think there are issues with distractions but I think overall laptops are a good thing to have in school I think it's a good thing because we can have more learning opportunities. I think it's a good idea. It's a good resource for students to have laptops available to them in school. I think it can be both good and bad. Good as in learning education, writing documents on there, saving paper, saving the environment and stuff like that. Also it can be bad or good for the students but bad for the teachers when I have time to schedule things on selling or certain things that I have to do on the computer at a certain time that I use that aren't actually educational things, but it's also good to have those for the students, but probably not for the teachers. I think computers can be a major distraction in class. Some students don't have the maturity to be able to handle themselves and stay on task with their assignments. Well, as I said before, students are allowed to use laptops in my classroom, but not just at will. Usually, if it's not a laptop um, internet research assignment and they ask permission, can I look up a reference, I'll let them do that. Uh, it's not as much of a distraction in my classroom as maybe others, but I do have a few students that will play games. Uh, and I walk around the classroom thinking that they're looking up something they're supposed to and they're playing a the game. But that's a very minority amount. The biggest distraction is phones, much more than laptops. God only knows. I don't know what kids are using laptops for. I'm sure I have no idea um, of the concept of what can be done on laptops um, when it comes to the younger generation. There's lots of ways that you can stray. There's no doubt about it. And I think if kids wanted to, to stray, they can. They'll find ways to do it. I think that's true of anybody that's using technology. I don't care if you're a professional. I don't care if you're an adult. I don't care if you're a student. If you want to um, you know, disregard the rules, you'll find a way to do it. The biggest distraction of students having laptops in schools is staying on task with the assignment. They can uh, constantly trying to check their email or play games or watch soccer games. So just does inhibit them from getting their work done. I think one of the biggest distractions is eBay. I'm often on eBay and I'm looking to buy things, I'm looking to sell things, and that's just something that I can do, I can kind of multitask, 
It's not a major distraction, but it is a distraction. Students are often distracted by social media or fun videos or sports videos for whatever sport that they happen to be interested in. Well, I probably am not familiar with which one should be blocked, unfortunately, because I am not the youngest teacher here. But I do know that there are websites that are blocked that we could access in the art room that would have valid art images but the images may be mixed with something that is slightly inappropriate but because the blocking program isn't familiar with which, which is appropriate and which isn't it puts a full block on everything and I know there have been some frustrations with students trying to look up images. Um, as far as um, my educational resources I have been disappointed with the amount of block websites. Um, some of the websites that I've used in the past that have been really good um, have been blocked and it takes a couple of them in particular, it's really hard to get them unblocked. I don't think it's because I don't think it's because our IT folks don't want to. I think it's our server, the way it's set up, um, kind of filters out some things that I think are important for us to be able to get to. I don't know what the solution is to that problem, but it would be. I mean, I think at some point, you know, if we have a freer use of technology, uh, internet, and we encourage our students to um, build some self-discipline. We need to do that because eventually they're going to get to these sites anyway. Um, and if you start developing some good habits now, you know, which is what we really need to do, I think that's the key right there. Um, I think the main websites that need to be blocked are the social media websites that are most distracting um, and the game websites. But really, there's always a loophole to get around those. And sometimes the websites that are blocked are not it's not helpful for teachers if you know kids want to use YouTube videos to project something for their project that's, that becomes a difficult um, issue and using some blogs are actually really important and really useful for resources so I think it goes both ways but yeah. There are too many blocked websites I think it's an issue of being too many or too few websites being blocked. I think the issue is which ones are being blocked where we could have access to some educational videos like through YouTube. I think there are way too many blocked websites actually. I think that Vine and Twitter and Facebook and some YouTube things actually could be used for educational purposes. Now I feel that they should not allow you to post things or view other people's comments but such things as educational places on Facebook because there are educational places there and reading blogs and stuff that would be very useful to have to be able to see. Since you are a teacher, would you want your students to be on their laptops in class if they were not told to do so? I would not want my students to be on the laptop if they were not told to do so if they did not ask permission. There are times that I don't have an assignment and they are not specifically as a class on the laptop, but an individual student may need to look something up. So I think it's fine that they have their laptops there, but not unless they've had permission or a class assignment. They don't need to randomly be on laptops and be distracted from the artwork they're supposed to be creating. I think it should be the student's choice to be if they want to focus in class or not. It's like some kids may multitask on their computers, it may help them, so you never know. Do you think it is good or bad to have... Loopers are good. No, you have to have them put it in. I'm smiling. You have to have them put it in. I'm smiling. You're such a girl. Her head is chopped off. Don't press record. You have to have the question in it. It's taking time. Just hold on. If you were a teacher, would you want your students to be on their laptops in class, as you are a teacher? Um, I think the main... Oh, go ahead, ask your question. <laughs> I screwed that up. <laughs> Do you think it's good or bad to have a laptop at school? never told me it was being recorded. 
restart. I'm gonna beat you. If you were a teacher, if you were uh, if, you, if you were a teacher, would you want your students to be on their laptops in class if they were not supposed to? Absolutely not. I would want to be able to teach my class with full listening and um, that's very distracting what you're doing back there. That's actually going to be in the video. That's going to be the last one. Choo 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 choo. Now, now film me just being silly. Film me being silly, bruh.